as a native speaker myself, I am shocked, very shocked by this news, okay, by the fact that such a bill of this nature has been proposed in the Italian parliament for the use of English and other foreign languages to be banned, you know, in official communication and even like um, to the extent that people could be fined up to 100,000 euros. This is no joke. Up to 100,000 euros. Let's look at the fact why has this bill appeared before parliament now? What is it seeking to achieve? If you run with me, I got a word for the both of us. Hi guys. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I'm sure by the scene of the title of this video or the thumbnail, you might have asked one of these two questions. Your first question might have been, was English allowed in official communication in Italy to begin with? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, 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 yes. Your second question might have been in the globally advanced world of today. Why would a country, or for me to better put it, why would a bill of such nature appear before the Italian parliament seeking to ban the, like, the official use of English or other foreign words in official communication? Well, and also our latest facing up to 100,000 euros. So if you might have asked any of these two questions, sit through this video. Let me tell you why such a bill has appeared before parliament now and also what the bill is actually seeking to achieve. Okay, so we all know English began to gain grounds in the European Union because the UK was part of, you know, the European Union to begin with. But then for some years now, the, the UK is no longer part of the European Union, but then still English is gaining like fame in countries in Europe. Okay. And let me tell you, let's, let's get the facts. English is one of the most spoken languages in the world. 1.5 billion people speak English today. As you're speaking now, someone somewhere is, you know, learning English desiring to learn English, admiring English, you know. And because of that, you can see out of the 1.5 billion people that speak English as of Karen, only 400 million people are native English speakers. Today, English is gaining admiration all over the world. Someone at some point want to learn English. So you might have, you might have asked, what does this bill say and why has it appeared before parliament? Like, you know, at this point, Bill was from the current prime minister's party. The current prime minister of Italy is called Georgia Meloni. And, you know, this bill was proposed by some members of a party. The bill is seeking to address what it calls Anglomania. The, the use of English that demeans and mortifies the Italian language. Okay, Anglomania, like basically the excessive admiration for english and english customs okay so this bill is addressing the fact that like italian itself like it wants to protect the italian language on its land okay italy is not really like the first country to take this move france had already taken this move this bill is trying to protect the italian language you know the use of the italian language is saying that both organizations like private and public organizations should should use italian in official communication so even both private and public organizations when they are communicating with foreign organizations should use italian so that it's translated to them in you know their desired languages but then italian should be the basic means of official communication in italy should the bill be passed this law violators of this law will face a fine of up to hundred thousand euros this is no joke up to hundred thousand euros it's not only targeting english okay but then it's targeting 
um, the use of English and foreign words in official communications. Is English becoming a threat to the Italian language? Yes. What this bill is proposing actually addresses that. English is becoming a threat to the Italian language. And we all know so many countries across the world are promoting their own main native languages, but then they are kind of like encouraging their citizens to kind of like also learn other languages as well. We can see it, we can see it all across India, we can see it in so many other countries in the world. People are holding on to their native languages and then learning other international languages as well. So this bill is kind of like sending shock waves across the world because the like the government could kind of like find a way to ensure that it it kind of like promotes the Italian the use of the Italian language, um, but for the fact that there's a fine attached to people who do not kind of like who violate this this to be law, is making it a bit serious. The limits of our language is the limits of our world. When you learn more languages, your mind opens up, okay? You begin to see the world in a different light. You begin to see things from different perspectives, okay? And learning languages introduces you to the cultures of different people. So basically, this is kind of like, this is really, really surprising. This is really, really surprising. But then that is what is new in Italy. That is what's currently new in Italy. And we are just going to see whether this bill is going to be passed into a law. And we will see whether people are actually going to um, obey this to be law. Should it be passed into a, um, a law in their country? So guys, if you think this bill should be passed into a law in italy let me know in the comments if you also think like this is such a bold move and you know this is not the right move let me also know in the comments okay guys so i will see you in my next video if you're not following me on instagram right here this is my handle this is my handle follow me on instagram let us connect let us connect let us connect so i'll see you guys in my next video